Welcome to The Man in the Middle. I'm your host, Bill West. Today we're going to be looking at a, uh, a group that I just found out about. I know you've probably heard about it, or maybe being, uh, you know, Americans, maybe you have it, and maybe I'll do, be doing you a favor. But we're looking at Follow the Cipher. This is a 2018 release by the, it's a debut album. It's their only album so far. Yeah, I heard, uh, I heard this while I was uh, on Spotify, and I was uh, playing some Beast in Black, and uh, this came up, and I was like, I have got to get this album. So, you know, I did. <laughs> uh, you know, that's the album cover. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. So quite a bit of reflection there. I hate when you buy an album online, and it comes in, and... You know the, the the tabs are broken here here and you know the tabs inside are broken you know doesn't keep the album in you know that's the album and this is by uh, one of the members of Sabaton and I will probably get into them soon. And yes, a uh, listener who was uh, who commented to me about uh, Battle Beast, I will be getting some Battle Beast albums uh, my next payday. If you have any particular albums that uh, you would like me to, you know, to, to take a look at, let me know. But uh, I have a couple in my Amazon list when I'm, you know, when I get paid next. The track listing is Enter the Cipher, Valkyria, My Soldier, Winterfall, Titans Called, The Rising, A Mind's Escape, Play With Me, I Revive, Starlight, and Carolus Rex. I'm going to say right now, I haven't found a bad cut on this album. I've only I've listened to uh, bits and pieces off on the Spotify. I also just ripped it to my computer. I can't wait to get in, uh, get in the car and listen to it. That's you know my big test of, you know, how I think an album is is how I'm driving, when uh, the album's on. Uh, from what I like, I said from what I hear, there are no bad cuts. I'm really enjoying this album, and I think if you're uh, into the whole. Uh, I want to say symphonic metal. They use a lot more, or not synth synthesizer metal. They use a lot more synthesizer than uh, American groups do. So I think this. Is, uh, they said this is from Sweden. I'm, you know, after I got turned on to Nightwish, I went there to uh, Beast in Black, uh, all of uh, Annette Olsen's uh, stuff. You know, uh, oh, <laughs> the dark, uh, I can't remember the name, uh, the a dark mystery. No, whatever it is. I, I really enjoy her work. I just can't remember the name of the group right now. Uh, a lot of her projects, uh, her last solo album stand, uh, was really great. So stand or strong. I can't remember. But uh, it was a really good album. I enjoyed it a lot. You know, I will be right back. The Dark Element. How could I forget that? There's actually a song on that album named The Dark Element. Uh, the first two Dark Element albums, uh, her solo, her last solo album, uh, the last couple projects. I really like a lot of the metal that's coming from uh, across the sea. Especially since there seems to be a, a, a dearth of, you know, uh, Judas Priest. Well, Judas Priest, I guess you would, you would consider it across the sea as well. Uh, you know, the, the major metal bands I listen to, Metallica, Judas Priest, uh, ACDC. Uh, even though ACDC came out with a new album in the last couple of years. Uh, there's been a real dearth of, of metal. And so I've been going further afield that you know uh that i would listen to i would consider usually 
but uh, having Spotify really helps. I have uh, another couple groups uh, like Moonfall. I found uh, very interesting. I'll probably pick up theirs. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, there's another al uh, album on my... Let me take a look. The stuff in my Amazon. I better turn the volume down in case... <laughs> Spotify comes in, I don't want to get busted. I don't want to get a copyright claim just because I accidentally hit. Hmm. Where's my cart? There it is. Battle Beast, no. Oh, The Great Divide by Alan and Land. That was that was really good. I enjoyed it. Alan and Olsen, Worlds Apart. That was uh, one of the projects. Uh, Songs of Night Sings by The Dark Element. Heart Healer, I really enjoyed. Uh, yeah, I did a video on them. Uh, trying to see what else I might have. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna keep going, you know, further afield because you know I always like to hear new music. And, uh, like I said, this album really fit, you know, even though it was a 2018 release, it's new to me. Uh, you're not going to go wrong if you like metal. And like I said, it, you know, it's a lot more synthesizer than American, which, you know, it's, I enjoy it. You know, uh, some cuts are borderline Nightwish, uh. But I think uh, coming from that particular area, uh, I think a lot of American metal has the same elements. Uh, you'll find those same elements in the Scandinavian countries, Norway, Sweden. Uh, but you can't go wrong. Good thing I throw the plastic things away and just keep the, the booklet and the... CD because this really pissed me off. <laughs> there's a booklet. I have a really good album. Uh, you know, so, unfortunately, the uh, female lead has left. You know, has left the band, and I was looking them up on Facebook. Uh, it's been 2018, four years. Well, we just started 2022, so let's say three years since this album. It'd be nice. I would like to see a new one soon, but you know the whole C19 problems. Maybe we'll see one after uh, the pandemic is over and done with. But uh, until then, you know, it's a really good album. I give it my big thumbs up. If you get a chance, give it a shot. Uh, I think you can find it on Amazon. Uh, I got it off eBay. Amazon would, was saying that it was going to take a, a little while to get in, so I, I got a copy off eBay. It's a really good album. I give it my my big thumbs up. Speaking of thumbs up, if you like what you're seeing, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and uh, subscribe to the channel, because every once in a while I might talk about something you enjoy. I'm Bill. I am the man in the middle, and I will talk to you again soon.